To the celebrity share market now, and JT proves he's a real man by voting against civil union, down trowel. Brass says homos are okay, but votes no anyway, comb over. Gay son makes Bill no-brainer for right-wing Slav up slightly. Coddington blows head gasket in menopausal meltdown below the threshold. And moustache madness at tea time as Sainzo becomes Wood's bitch. The TV show Queer Eye for the Straight Guy has been a worldwide smash hit. Its star, Carson Cressley, has even bumped off Elton John as the most well-known gay man in Australasia and the Chathams. Carson, like our own David Hartnell, is a keen judge of sartorial styliness. But on a recent visit to our shores, serious questions were raised about the credibility of Cressley's clothing critiques. Is purple the new pink? Is the Viaduct Harbour the new Venice? Is this really Auckland? On an overcast Tuesday night, it was easy to imagine you were in, say, Adelaide or New Plymouth. As part of an effort to make even more money, the Women's Day have hired Carson, Carson of course. to relaunch a revamp magazine that looks exactly like the old magazine. Wheel out a red carpet, drag in a herd of desperate celebrities, and shoop shoop diddy wop come a come a wang dang, you've got the live eye, the home show, and every hack in town falling over each other to give you a shitload of free promotion. What's your favourite uh, edition of the Women's Day? Favourite edition? Oh, I can't think of one off the top of my head. My favourite edition? <laughs> Any favourite editions? Not really. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't really know, I don't read it. Me and my brother always read inside the waiting rooms of, um, of our doctors and stuff like that, so... Women's Day has taught me a lot about myself. This is red carpet Kiwi style. And in these troubled times, it was comforting to know that security was number one priority. Hey, sweetie, uh, keep an eye on that uh, coxie guy, eh? Uh, apparently went a bit ape at uh, Julie Christie's party left the bathroom in the hell of a state. Nice tight buns, though. Over. So what is a red carpet? In essence, it's a herding device to corral celebrities so the maximum amount of photos can be taken to promote the event or film or what have you. It's like a giant bait catcher. And today the sprats sure are biting. Do you, do, you, do you get everyone saying, I'll talk to you as long as you promise not to take the piss out of me? Do you get everyone saying that? Yeah, you can take piss out of us, You can do what the hell you want, we don't care. Oh. Okay, sure. <laughs> Todd, Christy, Ridge, Timmins, Lambie, Gofton, Shortland, True Bliss, Rock, Hayden, Hawksby, Aitken, Rawaka, Ehrlich, and Watson. Tom, here comes someone, here comes someone. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, it's nobody. It's nobody. Who had better style, um, Herman Goering, Adolf Hitler, or Bob Crane? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Adolf Hitler. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Bob, Bob Crane, he was the dude that liked the warranty videos. Yeah, I like him. Bob Crane was the hat, I think. Who was the guy first? Um, Herman Goering. He's in charge of the Luftwaffe, you know, the Air Force. Mm. <laughs> Probably Adolf Hitler, actually. Who do you reckon, bro? <laughs> I got no idea, eh? <laughs> and then, like a Sutherland in pinstripe slacks, Carson breezed onto the red carpet. But his jumper's tucked into his pants. I love your poncho. God, we're hot. New Zealand rocks. Am I gay from just meeting me like this? I don't know. Let me see. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure. It tastes gay. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, for Cherie. Wow. Um, what's your name? Catherine with a K. Catherine with a K. Is it right for a man to tuck in? It depends what he's tucking. His shirt? Yeah, I like that. Is it alright if he's got a pot to tuck in? A pot to tuck in? Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think so. I can work with that. Now who's this for? Chloe. Chloe. What about a female with a pussy pot? With a what? <laughs> happy with what Carson was wearing there? No, if my husband came home wearing that, he could go back out the door. 
What was it in particular? It's the jumper tucked into the trousers. Not a good look. I don't like the caddy chucked into the chucked into those trousers. Though. They look pretty disgusting, actually. I don't know if purple on a man is necessarily um, the best look. I don't know, well, but I'm I'm no fashion guru, mate. What about the pant? It was um, it was a pinstripe, loose pant, long and straight, ugly, uh, not flattering. Yeah, not flattering at all. But then the whole thing looked awful. Oh, mate, I'm a Westie, eh? I don't know much about fashion. What about the hair? Awful. I was just reading the paper um, last week, I think it was. Um, you want the flag to be changed? What was your idea of what you wanted to be changed to? No, I don't want it to be changed at all. I want the status quo to stay. And if we do have it changed, I want a referendum. Because, I mean, we come up with these whims every so often, political correctness and goodness knows what else, and we just want everything changed to the whim of somebody wanting to do something and I think people went to war, people fought for the flag, sportsmen have been honoured by the flag, why change it? And that's our show. Coming up next week, a sleazy ticky tour of our tabloid press, the positive side of P in a shocking new pop song and meet our very own talkback terrorist. Is Leighton busy? From all of us here at Eating Media Lunch. At number 82. More a celebration than a catastrophe, the Queen Street riot was a carnival of colourful Kiwi characters. Zealand on air.